In this Quick Tips video, we're covering the unique situation for Xfinity customers where their ISP router is using the same default IP address range as the default IP range of the WireGuard VPN server on GLI net routers. So the way you'll know this is when you log into the dashboard and go to the internet tab, you'll see under ethernet here, my, I, my local IP address is 10.0.0.190. Now, if we hop over to the WireGuard server, you'll see that the IPv4 address here that's uh, currently blocked out because of servers on is 10.0.0.1/24. This is a direct conflict with what we're being given from our Xfinity router. So we're gonna have to change one of these. You could change your Xfinity router if you want, but it's a lot easier to just go over here to the WireGuard server and change it. So to make changes, you'll need to turn off the VPN server. Once it's off, you can change the values here and instead of 10.0.0.1, we're gonna change it to 10.1.0.1. So with that change made, we'll hit apply. We're gonna to need to make a new profile for our client travel router because the IP address has changed. So we'll hop over to profiles. We'll see that the original client profile is crossed out now because it has the wrong IP address range. So we'll need to click on add, give this one uh, a new name, so this will be client 10 new. We'll hit apply. On the configuration file, you know, be sure to check that box so it puts in your endpoint information. So you could download this or copy and paste it and put that on your client travel router. So back here on this dashboard now, you'll see that the new one isn't crossed out and it has that new IP address of 10.1.0.2. So of course, once you load up that new profile, you'll still need to turn on the VPN server. So right now the, v the WireGuard server is off. We'll hit start to turn this back on. And now once you have that new client file on your client travel router, you should be able to connect to your WireGuard server without issues. Of course, if you do run into any issues, I'm here to help. If you have a quick question, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you have a more involved question, uh, please click the link in the description or the pinned comment to go to a page where you can find my email. And with that, thanks for watching.